Hello everyone and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. Today I'm going to show you my 3-bit adder. So this is the console. Here you put in one number you add to the number down here. So let's put in a number like 2 plus 3. And then I should get of course a 5 output. So this is 1 plus 4 and that's 5. Let's try some other numbers like 6 plus 5 and this should be 11 of course and I think it is let's see 1 3 plus 8 is 11 so it is 11 actually good let's try adding them all together so 7 plus 7 so this should be 14 everyone should be down except this one here and as you see you can see it calculate when lifting and lowering different ones let's do this so now i have three plus six and it's nine good so now i've shown you a couple of different numbers or calculations so let's show you what it's built of it's built of and gates that looks like this it's has two controllers that are connected to one rotator each, and they're set to 45 degrees. And they're set so they go towards each other. So both controllers need to have an input for it to give an output, like an AND gate. Here I have an OR gate that has two controllers as well, because it has two inputs. And one is rotated 30%. This one here, and the other one is rotated 90%. This one here. So you see, this is connected here, and this one is connected here. Let's connect it. You see, it moved up, and now we get a signal out, and now we also have a signal out, and now we also have one. We don't have one, then both is off like that. Here I have an XOR gate. That works like this. It makes an kind of an X. And they're connected. So this one here is connected to that rotator block and it's rotating 60%. And the other one is connected to here and it's rotating 45 degrees. So here I have it. Here I have a half adder and here I have a full adder and a full adder. So, AND gate, XOR gate, XOR gate, XOR gate, AND gate, AND gate, and an OR gate. And I've connected them like this. I hope that you can understand the lines, there's a lot of them. And that's why I didn't make it longer, because you could make it a, like, 42-bit adder by just adding more full adder modules like this one here and then connecting it, it in the same way and just adding more buttons it would work the same but it would take a lot longer to work and this is something that I thought to have as an output first but it ran into some problems so let's give an output number of let's say 5 so I flipped those switches and now they rotated here. So only number five, that's this one, can go out. And as you see, a lot more than the ones that I wanted got dropped down. So this method didn't really work, but I thought it was a cool idea. And hopefully it can be fixed in the future. Because I think a system like this might be cool for, like, opening doors and things like that, maybe. And it's connect just three buttons here, or four buttons here, and four controllers. So each button is connected to one controller. And the controller down here is connected to all the ones down here, all the rotators. And they should rotate 90%, 90 degrees. I don't know why I said 
this one here rotates 90 degrees and each other one is has a starting rotation of 90 degrees and then when it activates it rotates back 90 degrees and this one is more or less the same but it has two but rotates 90 degrees and two that are already tilted turned 90 degrees and then you give it a signal it gets turned back and the third one has four in each group like that 